Alright, so I wanted to show some basic stuff, start showing some basic stuff using Playmaker and Unity so people can learn uh, how to use it. There's a couple of videos on the YouTube obviously, but I wanted to show, uh, teach also what I've been learning, but starting with the basics. I won't be going on detail in these videos, but if you want more details, feel free to comment or ask me for more detail. So I wanted to show some basic ways to use a uh, trigger event and set position and get position. So if you wanted to make a teleporter, you could do that. Use it for something else, like it's teleporting. And this is also teleporting to a specific position. The blue one is teleporting to a specific axis and direction. And the green one is uh, teleporting to an empty game object. So. Let's try and uh, show you how I did that. So basically, I would just let's just create an empty game object, like so. Put it up uh, maybe five, um, five, zero point one, right? And so that would be the we would call this one the teleport. Control D to duplicate, move it up, and rename it to T underline teleport underline trigger, and put it over the teleport object. Now the T teleport online trigger, we want to click on is trigger and turn off mesh render, and then adjust it. Um, And its height. So basically what we do now is we have created a visual platform which is the teleport, the white one, and we have duplicated it to create an invisible trigger, the green box, um, and turn on its trigger. And this box will have the playmaker code in it to register if anyone enters it. So for the first state we want to call, uh, the first state I'm calling um, has player entered trigger, right? We want to find out if the player has entered a trigger and f we need an event because once the player has entered the trigger using trigger event action, we want to tell uh, the next state what to do. So first I will create a quick event that says yes answering my own question has play entered if he has entered we want to move over to a new one a new state called we're calling it teleport player and we want a finish event on it so it goes back to the player uh, the first state asking if the player has entered the trigger so you can repeat the teleport if you wanted to and I'll break it and show you what happens if you don't and I can set the blue color on the first one and the green on the teleport player. Now, for the first day, we want to have trigger event. It says trigger on trigger enter. It basically means when when the player enters uh, the area within the trigger, then move over to new state. In this case, we call it teleport player. We want the collide tag to be player because we want to register only the player. Uh, tag otherwise if you had a box falling down or something it would uh, activate the trigger as well and we want to use yes as a send event meaning that when the player enters the green trigger like so then it will say yes player has entered and it will send message to teleport player and for teleport player in the action we want to use an action called set position yes I know I'm being very quick I will be making more thorough tutorials in the future. So for set position we want to define uh, what game object we want to move and this particular case we want to move the character so we are uh, clicking on the game object and using specify game object rather than the use owner. If you use use owner you will teleport the trigger itself. So we are uh, moving down first person character and we want to move the character on the set axis and for that we can add in 20. Now when you use this one, it's actually using the world axis, which means if you click on the player, it says 17. So when I move 
over the white platform is on 10 so 20 on set axis is over here so if you're confused by if the character doesn't move or something uh, doesn't happen correctly it's basically because the number isn't correct so if I now go and try it and we look down below it moves as intended bang right if I stop it if I didn't have the finished one what would happen is basically I can go in once and it stops there it stays there it doesn't go back so if I stood on top of the trigger now nothing would happen because the event because uh, the action that register trigger uh, is in this state the blue state we're still on the green state because once we were in the green state and we teleported the player there was no event that says okay the player has been teleported go back to a new state so that's why we have the finish one to quickly go back there so when we go in and out it will keep uh, the player give the player ability to uh, repeat itself make sense? hopefully it does now we have the player tag because if you click here I have turn on the tag player so if it didn't work when you uh, were watching this video a couple of seconds ago it's because we need to click on tag and click on player if by any chance I turn off the tag on the trigger event to say item and I go into the trigger nothing will happen because it doesn't have the tag uh, the, that tag now if I create an cube and if I put the cube over and if I give it a rigid body component the rigid body component is basically physics it will make it fall without it if it just hover and stand there so if I click play it falls down nothing happens because it has not the proper tag the tag required to register the trigger event is item so let's try giving the box exactly that item and click play Did you just see that the player moved, even though the player didn't enter the trigger? There we go. Basically what happens there is, the trigger event has no connection with who gets teleported. The trigger event defines who uh, you want to register when you enter. In this case we want the player. right? and the set position defines who gets teleported so you can actually turn it around okay the player tag and for teleport player instead of teleport player we have first person character let's drag down the cube we just made and now let's go into the teleport you saw the box just moved and it won't move any further because it's a fixed world position so once it's there it's not gonna move because we don't we're not using move by or adding some more incremental numbers it's just gonna stay there once it's been teleported so you can use this to uh, make a puzzle very quickly now the other one the green platform I showed earlier which teleported has some similar uh, function for that you want to see you have a trigger event, you, you keep it the same, but for teleport player you want to define uh, you can use the player, put it back like so we click on the square next to set with the two lines to turn off the numbers now what we want to do is we want to create an empty uh, game object and place it somewhere uh, like so and I will name this empty game object for um, go underline teleport position or spawn position you can also call it spawn position if you want to but this time I'm calling it teleport position so basically what I want to tell playmaker and the code now is set position and I've, I already have a global variable um, but let's try again. I will take a vector tree variable. The vector tree variable is a variable that contains three numbers, x, y, and z, which is normally the coordinates, you know, the player movements, the enemies' movement, driving, and so on, is when you use the vector tree variable. And I want to 
click on uh, and I'm gonna call it um, spawn position test right so in this particular moment I wanna click on vector I wanna choose spawn position test variable so basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna move the player to that position stored in the variable called spawn position as you see it has nothing right now so let's see what happens if we go into it already now it stored me somewhere over there so let's see that's not where the teleport is so it stored us somewhere completely uh, uh, at zero 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 point so that's a zero 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 point if we move the character and look at the coordinates on the top right we'll see it's getting closer to uh, zero zero more or less but uh, what we want to do is we want to have a control where you can uh, teleport the player and we want to teleport it here so on this uh, empty game object we want to add a state control left shift on PC get position and I want to use an action called get position and basically I want to choose um, Uh, you can see that it's not popping up the one we had uh, which brings me to the next point I wanted to show it's basically because we didn't make a global variable and if it's not a global variable you cannot talk to multiple game objects which has different uh, playmaker scripts as we call it FSMs so it won't work so if you go back and you have a look um, I obviously have already a global position, but we want to make a new one so you can see how it's done. Global variable, click it, and we want to have a new global variable called spawn position test. So now, if we pick the spawn position test global variable, and we go back to the empty game object, and when we get the position, Basically, the get position is going to register its coordinates. It's 11 on uh, x, 0 on y, and 0 on z, more or less. But we want to store it in spawn position test. So basically, its position being stored, and that position is being stored in spawn position test, and we're using it in set position. So when we move the player, it's going to move it to that specific area, like so. Again. Right, and if you if you don't click on every frame, you cannot do things in real time for some reason. Uh, if you want to do it, I mean, uh, if I do this and I move it and I go back, it still goes back to the last position because we didn't update it when the game started you can see it down below it says 11 0 0 uh, but if you click on every frame you will see it says 11 8 0 1 0 3 go and if you move it you see it updates to 16 0 6 so you could actually do it like this move it there and you see it's teleporting correctly and because it's a global variable and I says I would have a global variable you could also just say oh we're gonna spawn somewhere else and this time I will spawn over here so that's a quick example of trigger event get position set position which you can use on many ways uh, as I said, so you can uh, move in the cube. So when the player enters, you move the cube. Ding ding. So I hope that was useful. Feel free to comment or ask more questions. See you around.